NATO forces have stockpiled supplies in a nearby town. Our task is to roll in fast and hit the supply. We will then withdraw before American reinforcements have the chance to arrive. Two platoons of PT-76s will take part in the attack. First platoon is to move in and engage the supply trucks. Second platoon will support the attack from the hillside and act as reserve. There is no doubt NATO forces will respond quickly. Once the supply is destroyed, we are to withdraw as quickly as possible. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back to Gunner Heat PC. Today we are taking out a rather interesting vehicle, the PT-76. We are tasked with infiltrating the enemy lines, attacking some trucks, raiding their supply, and getting the heck out of there. There are some tow launchers in this forest here. We have 2nd Platoon on this hillside up at 12 o'clock, which should help support us. Engage defending forces at the objectives. Okay, well, we can do that. I'm thinking we'll swing around to the left because we have enemy reinforcements coming from this way, and I do want to avoid the tow launchers there. I am curious what our... Uh, maybe this is second platoon here. They're going to set up on the hill. Oh, they are already engaging. Okay, platoon formation. Get in a wedge. And they're engaging stuff down there. Look at that. That's 76 millimeter main gun. It's just something else. Okay, halt. Oh boy. Okay, ranging, ranging, ranging. PC. Send it. I can't tell where that shot landed. Yeah, these are M113s. On the way. There we go. Hit it there. 1.2 kilometers. Anything else in the town? Okay. Let's advance. While well, they are all engaging. And we are going to drop our range down to... 200 meters and let's see what ammo yeah load heat okay this is the town tow launchers are in that forest somewhere we gotta move fast other pt 76s are currently engaging units within the town all right there's two of us number three is working its way down here i think artillery i want to drop it on the toe drop it in the center of town we'll soften up whatever's in there before moving in all right spin around All right, slow advance. Artillery's going off. I got something to the left there, which I don't like. Close air support on that area. All right, set up here. Let's see. Hopefully artillery's doing some work. All right, slowly advance. We'll wait for our close air support to roll in and engage whatever is in those left houses there. There we go, there's MiG-21. Couple of them. They could be MiG-23s, I'm not sure actually from this range. They're going to be very, very close. Beautiful. Slowly advance. Oh, yeah. 23. All right. 
We're gonna pop up over this hill and engage whatever's in this town right here. We'll flank around. Got something. Tank. Hit it. There we go. Got infantry. Somewhere up here around the corner. He's hiding behind that. Advance on him. It's a truck. There we go. Another truck. Engage them. Okay. Supply trucks. Withdraw. Now we need to get the hell out of here. All right. And that's a uh, mission accomplished. Time to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We are going to honestly, maybe just as fast as you can, please up this, get up the hill, turn the turret behind us. Artillery. Hit the reinforcement point, the road where I expect they're going to come from. And run! Gosh. What a cool vehicle, though. It, it'll be awesome. I do believe the developers plan on adding rivers and lakes and stuff, so it'd be awesome to actually use a lot of these vehicles' amphibious capabilities. Um, like, setting up for it and then crossing a river. I think that would be quite a lot of fun. Okay, we have vehicles. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. A whole bunch of M60s. Keep running. I'm not even gonna try to engage. Can we restock while on the move? Yes. Keep running, boys. Get into defilade. Okay, we lost one. Don't stand and fight. It ain't worth it. I'm telling you, it is not worth it whatsoever. All right, turret's locked while we restock. Keep running, fellas. Okay, we're, we're beelining into the withdrawal point. We've lost one. Acceptable losses. Okay, stop restocking now. Once we get close to the withdrawal point, we can refocus and try to engage. I don't even know what variants of the M60s we're fighting though. Their optics are gonna be better than ours, chances are. We do have those PT-76s on the hilltop though, which hopefully we'll be able to engage unless they have retreated as well. I love playing in these types of vehicles, though. They are a ton of fun. Way more fun than I thought. When, originally, when GHPC got released, I was like, I don't want to play as an IFV or any of these other, like a PZ-76, for example, but I have the most fun in them, frankly. Okay, closing in on the withdrawal point. Okay, the raid has been successful. What a fun mission. That was that was good. I had a ton of fun playing through this mission. Uh, let's take a look at that after action report. Here we are, folks, in the after action report. And here is a new screen that was added in the latest patch, the mission results screen. You can see the packed forces lost three crew and three equipment. We fired 582 rounds for a lethality rate of 1.4% which is kind of a cool statistic to actually see. Let's get rid of that menu, and we can see we only had four shots with our main gun that actually hit. We fired this one at a M113, and this just kind of glanced off. Did not do a whole lot. It did enter the crew compartment, though. 
Shot number two, we just blasted into the side of this house because I wasn't sure what the heck was over here. And we can see that actually hit the house and then went right into the trucks. It's actually a pretty good shot. And then here we have another shot going right into one of the trucks. And then, yeah, finally another shot into the truck. So we didn't do a whole lot of damage, if we are being honest. Um, let's not show only hits. Here, shot seven of seven. This one, I was just firing in the general direction of the M60s. You know, a little warning shot, you could say. And that went off. That was in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Um, what are some of these other shots we landed? Yeah, a lot of these, these were kind of ranging shots, trying to figure out range to target. Shot two went over their head, and I'm sure shot one just went. This one was short, I believe. Wow, look how actually close that is, though. That, for a ranging shot, that is impressive that we got that close. That gunner is going to need a new change of pants after that one shot. Um, after shot, you know, three or whatever. So um, I don't think he will actually be needing those pants. But <laughs> anyway, that's, uh, that's a pretty fun mission. I enjoyed that a lot. The fact that it was focused more on maneuver than actually just gunnery is enjoyable to me. Anyway, folks, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.